Hello Elucid Out authors and welcome to this level one video on branding your project. In this video I'm going to show you how you can apply an existing uh, brand style to one of your projects. So to introduce what styles are, they're an area where you can set up a core look and feel for your projects um, in one place and that can be then applied across multiple projects and all the pages within these projects. So within the styles there in Elucidat, you can choose from a set of existing Elucidat styles or you can set up your own styles. And this allows you to upload core elements of your brand like logos, fonts, colours and then reuse that multiple times for brand consistency across your account. And you can either work with one style across your whole account or you can create multiple styles and reuse them um, for different projects. Here um, in the two images on the right you can see an example of one project that's been um, released uh, two different times with two different styles. So you can see there the quite distinct look and feel that can be achieved with the style alone. And this colouring, uh, font, styling is all coming through from the style and no styling changes have been made in author mode. So I'm going to just switch to my Elucidat account and show you how to add a brand style to your project. So here I'm in a project that I've created previously and this is using one of the out of the box Elucidat styles. So you can see this is a, quite a bold dark style. If I toggle through a few pages in preview mode you can see that the styling is applied across every page in the project. We have consistent uh, backgrounds, headers, footers, and then the buttons and fonts within every interaction are all carrying through the same styling. So this is showing um, how things can be really consistent when using a style um, to do all the um, visual look and feel of your project. So if I wanted to swap this out for one of the styles um, that has been created for my brand or my account, I can come up to the styles area when I'm within a project, select that, and it will take me into the styles panel. This is where you would come if you wanted to create a new style, but for now I'm just going to show you how to apply an existing style. So as I scroll down, you can see the dramatic style here that comes out of the box with the Lucid at is selected. You can see there's a green tick to show me that's the one being used at the moment but I want to set my style to match my brand. So here in the Your Styles area, you'll be able to see any styles that have been created on your account, um, either by other authors or by yourself. And you can simply select one of these, if you select the pink Select Style button, to apply it to your project. I'm going to apply it to this project only, and save that. If I applied it to all projects in my account, it would apply across any project um, that doesn't previously have a style applied. So it's a way to globally control um, which style each project starts from. But I'm going to choose this project only because I only want to affect the project I'm working in at the moment. Let's save that. And then if I go back to my project in author mode, you can see the change that's occurred from applying the different style. I've got my Elucidat logo in here, my core brand colours and a background. And if I flick through a few different pages, you can see the styling is applied across all pages in the project. We just have a few top tips for you to take forward when using uh, styles. Firstly, it's worth communicating with other authors in your account to find out what already exists. So someone may have already made a brand style that you can then simply add to your project. So just knowing what's there and why they were designed is a good way to get started. Secondly, remember that the same style can be reused again and again across many projects. And this is really the benefit of styles. You can set something up once and use it across all your projects to create a consistent global look and feel. And thirdly, add your style before carrying out author mode edits if possible. So in our third video on this topic, I'll show you how you can build on the styling um, by making author mode styling edits. 
But really, I would say start with the style so that you can get the global look and feel pinned down and then decide where and when you might make author mode changes. So thank you for watching this video. In our next video about branding your project, I'll show you how you can create a new brand style.